Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2017, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is an exciting month. It's a beautiful month at that. We've got a beautiful full moon happening early in the month. And this full moon is reaching out in supreme harmony with Uranus, bringing lots of luck, lots of blessings, and quick positive turnarounds close to Saturn. So these are turnarounds that are going to last, bring lasting benefits. And also speaking in harmony with Jupiter, Jupiter, the giver of great blessings. Now, a special note about Jupiter and what Jupiter is doing. Jupiter will stand still in the sky at this full moon and will change directions, go direct, effectively carrying those blessings forward and allowing them to grow that much more. And what's really great news for you is that this full moon is happening in a financial part of the sky, having to do with money that you earn, also money that you spend, but it has to do with money that you earn. And this is one of the best omens and best times that you are going to see to actually create more prosperity for yourself. So whether it is asking for a raise or just having the raise show up for you or some money-making opportunities come about, also this, if you are self-employed, this can be a really great time to put things into place that you believe will create and generate more income for yourself. It's also a really great time to work on those projects that will create greater income. So remember, it is the income factor that's gonna be active here and is going to speak to you creating more. And the opportunity is to have more, to have better, to have lasting better will come about in ways that are very quick, very surprising, and also very pleasing. Luck is on your side to create more money for yourself, but do be creative. Uranus likes thinking out of the box, and so if you have been trying to think about ways that you can generate more income, consider your creativity and consider thinking, you know, I know it said outside the box, but this could be a really good time to do just that, to be willing to think a little bit more expansively about the different things that are possible for you and watch them line up beautifully as a result. Really, mind is so heightened when we've got Uranus and Saturn together. Mind and the power of mind to manifest can be very heightened. And so the fears negate those, don't focus on those, instead focus on all the opportunity that could be there. And really to generate prosperity, opportunities are infinite. Open yourself to them and be surprised by some of the very creative ideas that can show up and they actually could end up being very promising. But you know, if you're in a job and you're happy in your job and you wanna just keep going on that path that you are on, then this is a time where the opportunity to work more, to create more money for yourself or to just get a raise become that much more likely. As I mentioned, Jupiter is gonna move forward. Jupiter, of course, moving through the part of the sky, very quiet part of the sky for you right now. But that's gonna change come October. So I'll be here to talk about it then, but do be on the lookout for that. But this is really karmic blessing time. And this is where if you feel like good karma has forgotten you or whatever the case may be, however you wanna conceptualize it, this is where really good things could just show up for you based on what you've already put into place and may have forgotten about. The good things and the opportunities to actually create more finances for yourself could show up for you now. Uh, but like I said, this is spending as well, so you may find yourself enjoying a little bit of spending at this time as well. But the finances are there, which is great. Now, as we move further into the month, we are going to have a new moon take place. This new moon is happening close to uh, Mars close to Mercury in particular and is happening in fellow water sign cancer. This is going to highlight matters of long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, uh, higher education and legal matters as well. It looks like there's a lot of thinking, a lot of talking, uh, a lot of motivation to make something happen on these fronts. But there's a, a 
somewhat of a sense of a little bit of isolation with this particular new moon. It's not necessarily reaching out to other power players in the sky. It's keeping its energy kind of contained within a particular area of life. And so when that happens, when we've got so much placement in one area of life and highlighted like this, it tends to suggest that there's a real need to just focus in and make something happen there. It's not so much about connecting it to something else. So it's not so much about asking your boss to finance your higher education. It is about just focusing on the application process, the tasks that you need to take, uh, the exams that may be happening at this time, and to just focus particularly in that area of life. Uh, as it is where it comes to things like long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, there's a heightened focus on these particular areas, but that means that you're able to make manifest that much more in that regard. And also, as I said, legal matters as well. It may not necessarily be easy to reach out and try to make conciliation and things like that, but You've got lots of support with this new moon to get a new perspective on a particular legal matter, to have key conversations around it as part of deciding what is the best course of action for you. Now, when it comes to matters of love, you are gonna have Venus move into your opposite sign. That is one of the best omens that you're gonna get, that good things are gonna come about where it comes to love and one-on-one -on -one connections and one-on-one -on -one partnerships. If you are in an established bond, Venus is really gonna work over time to bring sweetness and light into your established bond and into your life. This can be an especially important time to have that sense of a deeper understanding of who your partner is and to find yourself having sweet and romantic moments with them. There's a, a gentleness with Venus, of course. There's a sense with Venus that she is uh, really about gentleness and care and pleasure. And it is your partner who's going to be introducing that element that much more into your life. At the very least, your partner will just be more romantic, which can be really nice. If you are open to meeting someone new, this placement does suggest that there's gonna be a heightened motivation to actually be in a, in a connection. But more than that, this can bring with it long-term connections. And people that you meet with Venus in your opposite sign tend to be the kind of people that stick around for a while and have that sense of you really feeling like you could partner with them. What I love about this month for you is that there is that sense that the universe truly is abundant in all things. And you are gearing up to be showered with some serious blessings that I think you'll enjoy very much. Thank you so much for watching. You can get a video just like this each week by logging on to astrofabulous.com or nadiashaw.com and becoming one of my superstars. Superstars get instant access to exclusive video scopes each and every week filled with hope and inspiration and all kinds of great things and love and wisdom. Also, this month of June, Saturdays in June, there will be Synchronicity University Masterclass where we get to learn from some of the most amazing minds today in astrology and New Age spirituality. And it is absolutely free for superstars. It's one of the perks of being one of my superstars. So log on astrofabulous.com or nadiashaw.com and I look forward to meeting you in the superstar space. Well, thank you so much for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.